There, good morning. I, I just barely good morning, actually. But I thought it might be fun in surviving the 80s if I would take you out into the garden with me. And I'm gonna, I showed you my grocery haul in another video uh, from the grocery store, but now we're gonna go see what I can get from my April garden. So come along, enjoy a nice day out. And nice enough to have the door open. We don't have many flies or mosquitoes here, so we enjoy it. Okay, and there's, <clears throat> I'm, I'm not sure where I'll start, but there's different things I can get. I think I'll just start right here at my charred patch that's going to seed, and we've been feeding some of it to our chickens. And I'm just going to set you down. I don't know how the camera will pick up, but we'll see. And we'll put it right here. And hopefully, oh, and I think, wait a minute, I'm going to pick, thin some of the beets first. And they'll be down at the bottom and won't get dirt on the chard. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's wet, too, from the rain. But isn't that looking nice? No, wait just a minute. Okay. And I think I'll get some more. Okay, we'll get that one. And maybe keep going here. Oh, that's got... I don't know if you can see the beat on that one. Okay, I'm going to just turn you over here because I'm going to get some over here. Let's see. Maybe in here. Oh, another. See the beats? The beats are forming. Okay, I'm going to go back. I'm going to pick some of the chard and I'll cook it in with the greens of the beets. And we're feeding a lot of this in here that's going to seed now. And you know what? As long as it's going to seed, I'm going to see if I can just pull down clear at the bottom and show you how far this really goes in. Well, I'm not at the bottom yet, but I'm going to see if I can, uh, I'll just have to cut it off. Mm, maybe I can't even do that. I poked my finger. But this is just part of it, but what you saw was just the top part. But it even goes further down than that, because we raised the the dirt on the rest of the bed and so this is growth coming up several times from the plant the mother plant down underneath but for the last three years it has given us and the chickens some nice little meals and when you cook it naturally, it just cooks right down, and you always think you have more than you have. Okay, I'm just gonna use my scissors and trim some off. And I'm not gonna fill my whole bucket with that, so I'm gonna go on. And I noticed I got my first peas. And so I'm gonna check them out and pick whatever I have my first edible pea pods. Okay. Now, I hope this is picking it up. Ah, there's one. See it? 
and even though there's just one, it has to it has to take its turn and be used. Otherwise, it's going to get too big, and there's more than one in here. And I'll cook them in a, in a stir fry with other vegetables. Uh, I know there's more than one because I saw them the other day. So I'm going to come around and see if I can't find the others. I know I saw them the other day. And I thought, oh, I, oh no. Okay, here's a littler one, but I'm picking it. Too little. Some are too little. Okay. Okay. Another one. So I only got a few. Like four. Another one. I knew I'd seen them. But it will be nice in a nice little spring stir fry. Another one. So I'm getting a nice little handful. Oh, yeah. Another one. Another one. So they are here. This is my first. The first, the first. Oh, another one. And there's more coming. So this is just the first fruit. And I'll show you. It's just the first fruit of the harvest. So it'll go in my bucket. And I want it maybe there's Bermuda coming in here if I can it, it's not that I'm getting the root but I'll slow it down okay I don't know if you have Bermuda where you are but it's quite a weed that and sedge is is the dreaded weeds. Okay, we're not weeding, we're picking. Okay, I talked about snippet tea and I put my calendula in it. Marigolds are edible flowers, but these are bedding plants from a nursery. I won't put those in any of my teas because the chemicals that will even be present in the blossoms from the bedding because they're not organic and if I'd planted the seeds and they'd come up, I could have used the flowers. But the flowers will work to repel bugs for the tomatoes, and that's what I wanted. Okay, now, there's just a few more things. I think, let me check my, my little house here. Usually I keep in, I can feel my gloves. Okay. I'll cut it with the scissors. Usually I have a knife in there. Okay, and I'm going to, and I've, this is the second little harvest to my asparagus. They're so little, but I'm gonna take them out right now, and they'll go in my stir fry. I don't know if you can see those, but there they are, and I'll put those in my little bucket. And I've got one last thing I want to show you. Our pick. If I, oh, you know, I'm going to go around the other way. We don't want to show you me falling down. Okay. Around here. 
The petunias that are blooming, they are from last year. They went all year long. Okay, I'm going to set you down right there. I wish I had a better place. Maybe, maybe over here. Okay. Now, some collards have jumped the bed, and they've got some nice little leaves. I'm going to get some of those leaves off and put in my bucket. I'm going to also... I, I, I'm going to get some parsley, but not off of this one. This one looks like it's really gone past. So, I'll be taking it off this one. And I think it's... Okay. It's going to seed a lot, too. But there's... I can get a nice bunch of parsley to do something with. Okay. So that will go into my bucket. Ah, here's one of my squash that are coming up. Can you see it down there? Yeah. And I plant it in different beds. I bet. Oh, here's one at this end, right there, coming up. And Mostly I planted zucchini, but I also planted a winter squash, uh, like a butternut, and I planted some spaghetti squash, but <laughs> I don't remember where, so it will be like <laughs> a surprise when I find out which one is which, and I'll enjoy them all. So it doesn't really matter anyway. Okay, that's... Oh, this one, this is another one that's jumped the bed, and I might as well get a few, but you know my bucket's pretty full. I'm just going to, I'm going to say that's enough. Oh, did I, no, both my asparagus are still in there. So that's my grocery haul from the garden, and on the way up, I think I'll just pull maybe a little bit of this just to thin it down and I'll th that will be thrown into my salad and so I'll put that oh okay there was one place and I'll go back later I want to pick some radishes and I have radishes the snails have pretty much eaten the tops. Now, I don't know if you can pick it up, but this is greener, this is yellow. This means this probably had more wood chips in this area than this area. And that's the why of the different colors and why I had really thought I was going to plant legumes in here first to get the nitrogen back in. But I didn't, so We'll just pick some of it and thin it out. And carrots are growing in here too. I'm just going to quit and go in and see what we have. And <laughs> this has been what I do in my garden. I just get a little at a time. And what I can get, I put into a stir fry with a mixture of vegetables. I can put peppers and onions that I have in the house. I can put pieces of carrots and it will make a nice stir-fry vegetable for a lunch. So there you have my grocery haul and there it is. So have a nice day and I'm surviving my 80s.